Well, hello, my darlings, and welcome back to our channel. I am so glad you are here. Today, we are going to be creating a lighted DIY aisle decor piece that will be fit for any outdoor as well as indoor event. Stay tuned. For this project, you will need one of these plant hangers, some silver spray paint, any brand of your choice. You will need a two inch styrofoam ball. You will also need some flowers, any color of your choosing. You will need a Dollar Tree push light that has been wrapped in diamond wrap. You will need one of these plastic salad bowls. They come in a package of four. And you will need some acrylic garlands. I will be using two designs today, as well as some pendants, any designs of your choice. Of course, we will need our handy dandy tools. And today we will be working with our soldering iron. Let's get crafting. Now the first thing we are going to do is prepare our chain for our project and pretty much like we did on Wednesday when we were creating chandelier 5.0 we are going to remove some of the excess links we do not need after of course we have spray painted our chain and allowed it to dry. Now I am going to need a length of 15 hooks and as you can see I'm counting them and when I get to my 15th hook I'm going to hold that 15th hook well actually the 16th hook in my hand so that I can open that 15th hook using my pliers and then I'm going to take off the excess and place it on the side and reserve it possibly for another craft I am then going to take my pliers close that link and then I'm going to take my hook off of the excess simply by opening it and then I'm going to reattach that hook to the bottom of my 15th link. Repeat this process two more times for your other leg. So now here is the bowl that we are going to be using to create our aisle decor. And pretty much again, like we did on Wednesday, to ensure that this bowl is going to hang balanced, we are going to find the ideal three places to thread our chain. Now this bowl has six large scallops going all the way around and that means to balance that bowl we are going to have to place our home let's say for our chain on every other scallop and as you see I'm taking my soldering iron and right on top of the lip of the scallop I am making a hole pushing my soldering iron back and forth to widen that hole some and there I have made my three slots for our chains. Now in addition to making the holes necessary for our chain I am going to at this point go ahead and make the holes that we are going to need to place our crystal garlands now of course this part is optional and not only is it optional when you are about to recreate this if you want to have a different pattern for your crystals please feel free to do that but for my purposes I am placing two holes at the top of every scallop in the scallops that we did not use for our hooks. Now, before we affix our garlands, 
as well as our hook onto our bowl, we are going to create our floral arrangement to ensure that it is all going to fit before we put everything together. So now the first thing we're going to do is take our push light and place it upside down in the bottom of that bowl. The reason why we're placing that upside down is because we are going to use that light to illuminate the crystals as they hang from our little basket once you have done that we're going to place some hot glue on top in the middle of that push light and then we're going to take our two inch styrofoam ball and we're going to place that in the hot glue we just added there what this is going to do is stabilize our ball so that we can now go in with a firm surface so to speak and make our floral arrangement now that we're making our floral arrangement please be sure to place your flowers in only to the point where the flowers themselves are hanging over the edge of your basket you want to make this as full and as tapered as you can now of course i'm using the color scheme of dark and light pinks in my roses and a white and pink hydrangea but i'm just going to mix this up and continue placing my florals into that styrofoam ball making sure that i'm not leaving any spaces blank so that we won't have any what can i say interruptions to our floral arrangement so i'm just going to continue this process until that styrofoam ball is completely filled and then i'll be back to tell you what's next So here we are ready to start putting the pieces of our craft together and what I am showing you here is that I have already started to place my crystal garlands in the six holes that we created on every other scallops. Now for this pattern of crystal garland and this pendant, I am going to place these along with my hooks remember we only created six holes for our crystal garlands and we did not create any for these crystal garlands and so to attach these to our little basket without having to make any additional holes i'm just going to affix them to my hook by placing it on the hook first and then feeding that hook through the basket and by doing so it saved us from creating yet another hole in our bowl but it also allowed us the opportunity to place another garland on our project so here we have our project nearing its completion and everything has been attached or have been attached to it rather except for our final hook before i place my final hook what i'm going to do is take my floral arrangement that has been attached to my push light and i'm going to take the two chains that have been attached and simply feed them through the flowers to find a good placement for them so that they won't be pulling at the flowers and the flowers won't be misplaced in any way once i have found my placement of my two chains i am now going to go in and find Find the home for this final hook oops I forgot to put the pendant on it's sitting as you can see right at the bottom of your screen on the right hand side but I'll go back and put that on and once I have placed my final hook here you have the project we created today so I'm going to go clean this up I'm going to get my shepherd's hook place them outside and then I'll be back to show you what our finished project looks like well here you have it my darlings 
our lighted DIY aisle decor that we created using Dollar Tree products for the foundation and of course embellishing them to our heart's desires. I mean, let's face it, which bride or Sweet Sixteen Princess or Quinceanera Princess or Debutante would not want to walk down an aisle flanked by these lovely creations if you are not going to use them for a wedding or a sweet 16 ceremony you could also simply create these to hang on shepherd's hook pretty much the way i did in your garden they are stunning and not only are they stunning but pretty much like everything we do here on our channel my darlings they are cost efficient I mean you're looking at bowls that come in four in a pack for a dollar you're looking at a chain which will run you one dollar each you are also looking at your styrofoam two inch ball where you can get um, I think two or three in a pack at the Dollar Tree and you're looking at flowers that you can also get your floral um, selection from the Dollar Tree. The only thing that you would have to look outside of the dollar store for are your crystal garlands and even those can be found on a budget. And so my darlings, as we say every week, the motto to our channel is simply this, why buy when you can DIY and so if you have found any value in this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as leave me a comment in the comment section below I would love to hear from you to my Danny's darlings please know that I appreciate your love your encouragement your questions your feedback your care and concern please know that it is not wasted if you are not not yet a Danny's darling and happen to stumble across our channel today kindly consider joining our ever-growing community of DIYers as we learn from and craft with each other on a weekly basis we would love to have you as a member of our family and if you do subscribe today please also be sure to click the notification bell so that you can be made aware whenever one of our videos has been published my darlings my loves it has been a pleasure being here with you today. And so until next time, please, please, please take care of yourselves for me. Know that I love you all. Bye now.